सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सिद्धि फिफ्थ थर्ड चैप्टर नाइंटी सिक्स्थ पेज सेवेन्थ वर्स इंट्रोडक्शन थर्ड लाइन न ह्यसत सज्जन्मेष्य कुतस्थु खलु सौम्य सियादी कथम असत सज्जात श्रुतेरिति अत्र उच्यते सुरेश्वराचार्या dealing with the topic of the significance of mahavakya to remove the mithya gnanam with regard to this anatma prapancha while talking about this topic Sureshwaracharya introduce a sankhya philosopher's view who is talking about the purusha prakriti prakriti means anatma according to sankhya philosopher he says prakriti आर अनात्मा आर शरीर मन अभिमान अलोन इज द मिथ्या ज्ञान दैट मिथ्या ज्ञान अलोन इज द काज फॉर दिस संसार प्रकृति मीन्स बॉडी माइंड कॉम्प्लेक्स विद दट अनात्मा बॉडी माइंड कॉम्प्लेक्स एज लॉन्ग एज यू हैव अभिमान there is samsara to understand the purusha the jiva the individual atma one can do purusha prakriti viveka or atma anatma viveka atma anatma viveka dwara mithya gnana nivritti hi मिथ्या ज्ञान निवृत्या संसार निवृत्ति देन पर्सन इज लिबरेटेड दिस इज द सांख्य फिलॉसफर्स इंटेंशन ओपिनियन व्हाट वी दि वेदांतिंस अद्वैत वेदांतिंस सेज मिथ्या ज्ञान दि एरोनियस परसेप्शन इज ओनली ए कार्य it is only an effect it is known as adhyasa mithya gnanam adhyasa is the karyam to produce mithya gnanam the karyam there must be some karanam there must be some karanam we introduce that karanam as mula vidya Mula vidya is the karanam for mithya gnana karyam, which is adhyasa. So to extend this to the world, the erroneous perception towards the world, like Rab Raju Sarpa, I said in the last class, Raju Sarpa agnanam. सारी रज्जु अज्ञान अलोन रज्जु सर्प मिथ्या ज्ञान जनयति सो रज्जु अज्ञान अलोन ईस रज्जु सर्प मिथ्या ज्ञान जनयति व्हाट ही टेक्स हियर 
that rajju sarpa mithya agnyanam alone is the cause of fear that is to be handled <coughs> he won't talk about uh, rope uh, agnyana he takes directly rajju sarpa mithya agnyanam is the cause for bhayam so there he starts his uh, samsara problem what we the vedantins says no 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 rajju sarpa bhranti mithya gnanam is an adhyasa super imposition it is an effect karyam there is rop agnanam that is the cause we say so what is the pura pakshi first point there is no other ignorance or agnanam other than mithya gnanam point number 1 Puro Pakshi says, there is no other ignorance other than Mithya Jnanam or erroneous perception. Point number one. Point number two is that Mithya Jnanam alone is the cause for the entire samsara problem. There he takes the that way what is that uh, mithya gnanam that mithya gnanam alone is uh, the cause then we ask a question later one more point he says sankhya philosopher let us take suppositional argument this whole paragraph is sankhya philosophers opinion atra uchyate alone is the sureshwara acharya's answer begins so the all the four lines uh, puro pakshi sankhya philosopher opinion he says suppose there is a an agnyanam separate from mithya agnyanam suppositional argument first point what he said there is no other ignorance other than mithya gnana number 1 number 2 other than agnanam if there is uh, a agnanam suppose tushyatu durjana nyaya <laughs> therefore a four points of puro pakshi we understand later sureshwara acharya answer we can understand first point mithya gnanam alone is there i am repeating deliberately okay you also have to bear with me one of the uh, method of teaching is uh, repetition abhyasa repetition is one of the criterion for right teaching therefore i am repeating deliberately don't feel uh, um, why so many times swami is telling mithya gnanam alone is there first point mithya gnanam uh, is the cause for samsara there is no Uh, other ignorance other than mithya gnana second point <clears throat> third point he says suppose suppose you want to uh, say there is agnanam if at all agnanam is there even that agnanam is uh, um, only abhava roopam it is only abhava roop suppositional argument time there is an agnanam abhyupetya vada sankhya philosopher says then we ask tell me that agnanam which you are accepting suppositional argument suppose uh, you are accepting temporarily 
is that Ajnanam is Bhava Rupam or Abhava Rupam. Is it Sadrupam? Bhava Rupam means Sadrupam. Abhava Rupam means Asadrupam, another name. Is it existent ignorance or non existent ignorance? Two, two varieties. Sadrupam va asadrupam va or bhava rupam va abhava rupam va. Is it present existent one or absent one? Ignorance is existent nature or non existent nature. Or you want to say both. Uh, it is neither existent nor non existent. Sad sadrupam va. So three options are there. Sadasadrupam va bhava bhava rupam or sadasadrupam or kinchit bhava rupam. We can call it as that is an idiom they use in Shastra. Kinchit bhava rupam va. Please tell me that ignorance you are accepting, O Sankhya philosopher, is it bhava rupam or abhava rupam or bhava bhava rupam or kinchit bhava rupam? Kinchit Bhava Rupam is called Anirvachaniyam. Is it Anirvachaniyam? Tell me. When we ask at that third point place, what is the third point? He accepted Ajnanam for our sake, temporarily. Suppose if there is Ajnanam also other than Vidya Ajnanam, when he says immediately we ask this question. Tell me, is it a positive entity? Bhava Rupa means a positive entity. Positive entity means existent entity. Or Abhava Rupa means a non-existent, absent. Is it absence? Is it non-existent? Or neither this or that. Anirvachaniyam. Bhava Bhava Rupa. Or sadasad vilakshanam. It is neither existent nor non existent. Tell me among these three what is your opinion? Then he says, as a fourth point, he says it is abhava rupam. Other than mithya jnanam, if there is an ajnanam, that ajnanam, ignorance, must be abhava rupam. Then from that Abhava Rupam, Abhava Rupam means absence of absence, absence Abhava Rupam, that ignorance is non-existent, non-existent. Then he himself answered, that is what I read now, um, Abhava Padarthaha, Ajnanam is Abhava Padarthaha, he said. Then he says, Na asataha sajjanma um, sa ishyate. Sankhya philosopher says, Since that ajnanam happens to be abhava rupam, asad rupam, how from that ignorance it ka samsara mithya jnanam can come? You are telling, O oh, Vedantin, Mithya Jnanam is Adhyasa, it is Karyam. For that there is a Ajnanam, another Ajnanam or Mula Ajnanam, Karanam, you are telling. But that is, uh, what, Abhava Rupam. From Abhava, Asataha means from Abhava Rupam. From Abhava Rupam, Asataha, Katham, Sajjanma. Sajjanma means origination of, origination of this samsara. From what? From that non-existent ignorance. Mula Jnanam is the cause for this Mithya Jnanam, we are telling erroneous perception, that is called samsara karanam. We are telling Sajjanma Ishyate Na because of asataha, because of non-existent ignorance, origination of origination of 
this prapancha samsara prapancha how it can happen ishyate he quotes that chandogya mantra kutastu khalu somya evam syat uddalaka asked his son oh my dear somya my dear son kutaha khalu somya evam syat how it is possible from non existence ignorance how it can come he is using that statement here iti that exact upanishad quoting is katham asataha sajjayeta katham how asataha from non existent asadrupam sajjayeta sajjayeta means samsara from a non existent thing an existent thing cannot come asat from non existent an existent samsara problem can never come that is what he says so puro pakshi's intention is that how and he is taking the support of upanishad in wrong place wrong way he is applying katham asatah sajjayet the non existent ignorance from that how this samsara can come sajjayeta janudhatu jayeta means janudhatu jayeta from the non existent ignorance how this world can come iti shrutih iti this is the chandogya upanishad shruti mantra is there upanishadic mantra chandogya upanishad belongs to samaveda therefore shruti shruti he this is the statement of shruti does he says that is his intention now we give the answer to him and we counter question we put a counter question how is it possible how come from a non existent ignorance an existent mithya gnanam can come from a non existent ignorance how mit existent mithya gnanam can come okay that is our objection katham asataha sat jayeta asatah means non existent ignorance sat jayeta so that is what he is asking question we are also asking the same question iti atra uchyate suppose you ask like that i will tell you suresh rachar is going to give the answer it is not uh, abhava roopam that mula ajnanam which is the cause for mithya gnanam is not abhava roopam you cannot cover your body with non existent cloth non existent cloth cannot cover the body existent cloth only cover the body like that existent ignorance alone will be the cause of mithya gnanam the shloka i will read answer is given in this shloka ajnata eva sarvarthah pragyato buddhi janmanah ekenaiva satam samschayam sannajnato bhavetatah this ignorance is there with brahman in potential form look into the shloka yatah buddhi janmanah yatah because two correlatives are there yatah tatah last is there tatah yatah 
सिंस बुद्धि जन्म बुद्धि मीन्स हियर ज्ञान नॉलेज द रईज ऑफ नॉलेज बुद्धि जन्म विशेष ज्ञान स्पेसिफिक नॉलेज छांदोगोपनिषद सिक्स्थ चैप्टर सेकंड सेक्शन सेकंड मंथ बुद्धि जन्म फ्रॉम दैट द बुद्धि जन्म प्राक व्हेन द वर्ल्ड इज इन अ पोटेंशियल फॉर्म व्हेन द वर्ल्ड इज इन पोटेंशियल फॉर्म हाउ दिस अज्ञात एव सर्वार्थ The whole entire universe, Sarvartha means the entire objective universe, is not known. Agnyataha. For that deep sleep at micro level, pralaya at macro level. In pralaya kala, in deep sleep, mithya agnyanam is not there. There is no division. There is no division. That is nirvikalpaka avastha. Nirvikalpaka avastha. At that time, there is no any sort of um, division. Nirupadhika avastha or nirvikalpaka avastha. Pure Brahman alone was there. Therefore, agnata eva sarva arthaha. In sleep, that is karana avastha. Agnata eva means in sleep or in pralaya or in murcha also. Sarvam agnata eva. There is no division, there is no mithya jnanam at all. When when the visesha jnanam, jagrat prapancha is going to come. Specific knowledge, visesha jnanam, that is uh, um, every object, car, pen, book, house, man, woman, this is called specific knowledge. Before this specific knowledge, everything was in agnata, means potential form, unknown form. Agnata eva. After waking alone, what was there before that uh, um, waking state to come in Sushupti avastha and Pralaya avastha? Ekena eva satam san cha bhavati. Ekena means Shuddham Brahma. In the mantra, Ekam eva advitiyam it is said. Ekameva Advitiyam. Therefore, here the word is used Ekena Eva. Sata San Cha Bhavati. Sata San Cha Bhavati. Shuddham Brahma plus Mula Vidya. Ajnanam Anirvachaniya Bhavarupam. Brahmana saha vartate asti. Here instead of Brahman, Sureshwara Acharya using the word sata with Brahman, with existence. The entire dual universe was ajnatam, unknown. At that time, the Mula Vidya is. Ekena eva sata sancha bhavati. It is with Brahman alone. Sancha means karana avastha. Brahman only sadeva somya idamagra asid. Pure Brahman, undivided Brahman or undivided existence. This is the second line. The whole universe is in potential form, that is Brahman only. Sancha, the universe was in pure, in the form of pure existence. When in sleep and pralaya. 
This is called Nirvikalpaka Avastha. In Savikalpaka Avastha, when you wake up from the sleep, or in Srishti Kala, the easiness, that Sat, easiness is divided with so many Nama Rupas. The easiness, existence, E capital E, existence is divided into many nama rupas how do you know you know my book is naishkarma siddhi book is pen is notebook is now you are all in a waking state we are all in waking state in a waking state the easiness pure egg brahman which was pure Shuddha Brahma in Nirvikalpak Avastha, sleep and pralaya, in Jagradavasthayam, waking state, that pure existence is divided as it were. Like pot space, all space, one space is as though divided. Similarly, one Sat Brahman is divided between Nama and Rupa. Bookies, pennies, clippies, potties, floweries, that easiness is in different. Therefore, you get different specific knowledge. Book knowledge, pen knowledge, sound knowledge, birds sound. Here a lot of birds, you know, that quill, it makes a lot of noise. It uh, noise in for us it is like noise, it is nicely enjoying <laughs> that Visesha Jnana. Book knowledge is specific knowledge, pen knowledge, specific knowledge. All these happens, they are all that existence is with a divided form as it were. Savikalpaka Avastha it is. Savikalpaka, Nirvikalpaka. You know all these words. Such savikalpak avastha, easiness is divided in the form of man is, house is, she is, he is, it is, that is. Sadeva somya idamagra asit nirvikalpak avasthayam satya alone was there. That is only one in waking state. It is uh, uh, taking with uh, associated with many forms ekena sata means advitiyena ekena sata that ekena is from upanishad ekam eva advitiyam ekena with ekam one advitiyena akhandena ityartha we can say sajatiya vijatiya svagata bheda rahita your existence, sata, with existence, enveloping ignorance was there. Mula vidya, mula jnana, mula vidya, mula avidya, basic ignorance was there. So what was there in Sushupte? Asit, word is used in the Upanishad. Asit in the pralaya kala or in the sleep. Sushupti is equal to Brahman plus enveloping ignorance. Enveloping, covering, veiling ignorance. In Mandukya, we saw Turiyam plus Agrahanam. Turiyam plus Anyathagrahanam. Turiyam means Brahman plus Agrahanam means Nirvikalpaka avastha, not uh, having any knowledge, agrahanam, ignorance. Karana avastha, we can say. Turiyam plus agrahanam is karana avastha. When you wake up, turiyam plus uh, anyatha grahanam. Anyatha grahanam means what? You take that man, this man, this house, that pen, this book, uh, like that you take. Anyatha Grahana. Missing Turiyam, you take that Dvaitam as real. Anyatha Grahana. Anyatha Grahana is erroneous perception. 
Turiyam is there, always there. Sat Turiyam is there. And uh, in Karya Avastha, Savikalpaka Avastha, now we are in Savikalpaka Avastha, Nirvikalpaka Avastha. Neshkirma Siddhi class is going on in Savikalpaka Avastha or Nirvikalpaka Avastha. Savikalpaka. Every minute uh, I am changing my sentences. Words are changing. So there are uh, different words, different meanings I am talking. Therefore it is Savikalpaka Avastha. Therefore Turiyam plus Anyatha Grahanam is Karya Avastha. Sun means Brahman, not your son. Sun means Brahman. Sadrupam Brahma Ityarthaha. Sanscha. Agnyata means unknown. Agnyata in the second line, second half. Tataha. Sun Agnyataha Bhavet. That time Nirvikalpa Kavasthayam. Brahman plus ignorance alone was there. That Brahman is enveloped by Mula Jnanam. Enveloped by Mula Jnanam. So, Avarana, Avaranaka Ajnanam it is called. Avaranaka Ajnanam is there, which is called Mula Vidya. How do we know Swamini? It is there. Simple example, Brahadaranyaka we saw in sleep, na kinchida vedisham we say, I do not know anything. After waking up, I didn't, uh, I did not know anything. How do you know? In deep sleep, uh, you are in nirvikalpakavastha. After waking you say, I did not know anything na, I was ignorant. I did not know. I slept. Rain came. Thunder came. I did not know. Ignorance is there. If ignorance is not there, it is not Bhava Rupam. Who re recollect that? Who says that ignorance is there? How do you have ignorance? Bhava Rupam. It is positive entity. So that is one example. Therefore, Avaranaka Ajnana, it covers Brahman. Because in sleep also we are all ignorant of Brahman. <coughs> if every one of us know Brahman in sleep, <coughs> very good, wonderful. <coughs> so people do not know even Brahman. So that Ajnana, Mula Ajnana covers, covering the uh, Brahman. It is called Mula Vidya, which is other than Mithya Ajnanam. So, Avaranaka Ajnanam is there in Sushupti <coughs> and Pralaya. Avaranaka means covering. Covering Ajnanam. Its job is only covering only. Eh? What he said, Sangha philosopher Ajnanam means absence of knowledge. Absence of knowledge means uh, it is absent. <laughs> but we say that absent of knowledge is also Bhava Rupam. It is a Bhava Rupam. It cannot be Abhavam. So Sureshwaracharya indirectly answer. He gives reasons why it is Bhava Rupam. That Mula Vidya is there other than Mithya Jnanam, other than Prakriti, other than uh, Anatma, Mula Vidya is there, other than Prapancha, Mula Vidya is separate from Mithya Jnanam, Mula Vidya is separate from Prakriti, Mula Vidya is separate from Anatma, Mula Vidya is separate from Prapancha. It is there, it cannot be Abhava Rupam. This is one point. What are the reasons he gives? Point reason number one. What is covering? What is covering or concealing cannot be absent. A covering entity cannot be a non-existent entity. 
a covering entity, concealing entity cannot be a non-existent entity for reason number one. A non-existent thing cannot envelop or cover anything. You are covering your car with a cover. Non-existent cover is covering the car. Cover or a scooter, you can take scooter cover or car cover. It is covering the car. Existent cover uh, is covering the car or non-existent cover. How non-existent cover can cover the car or two-wheeler? Existent cover only like that. Abhavasya avaranaha shiktihi nasti. A non-existent entity cannot have the capacity to cover. <laughs> Abhavasya avarana shiktihi nasti. Agnyane navrutam jnanam te namuhyanti jantavaha. Lord Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita. This is the first reason. What is the first reason? We say, Mula Vidya is there other than Mithya Jnanam. Mithya Jnanam is the Karyam. Mula Vidya is the Karanam. It is always there with the Shuddha Brahman. In potential form it is there. Nirvikalpa Avasthayam also. When Sati is joining with all other Nama Rupas, that uh, Mula Vidya is there. Bhavarupam only, Grahanam Anyatha Grahanam. Agrahanam in Sushupti Avastha, waking state Anyatha Grahanam. This is the first reason. Bhavasya, Abhavasya Avaranam Nasti. Non existent thing cannot cover anything. This is reason number one. Reason number two, Brahman is there in. Karanavastha plus Avarana Rupa Adnanam. Brahman is there in Karanavastha, Nirvikalpa Avastha or Sushupta Avasthayam or Pralaye Brahman Asit. And Mula Vidya also is there. If because Brahman cannot create anything. This samsara, jagat, creation cannot come from pure Shuddha Brahman. And this samsara or mithya jnanam, erroneous perception of this universe cannot born created by non-existent mula vidya. This is the second reason we give. A non-existent Mula Vidya cannot create Mithya Jnanam, erroneous perception or duality, Dvaita Darshanam can never happen. Dvaita Darshanam or perception of duality cannot be produced, cannot be produced. Shuddha Brahman cannot create the creation, universe. And if it uh, Mula Vidya is not there, it cannot be the producer of this uh, universe creation. So, therefore, with Shuddha Brahman, Mula Vidya was there, Bhava Rupam, that alone is the cause for Mithya Jnanam, erroneous perception. It creates this Mithya Jagat universe. Dvaita Darshanam starts. So, Brahman plus Ajnanam is there. Brahman plus Ajnanam is a Jagrat Prapancha evolves. Brahman plus Jagrat, Brahman plus ignorance, Mula Ajnanam is equal to Jagrat Prapancha, Savikalpak Avasthayam. Brahman plus Ajnanam in Nirvikalpaka Avastha, it is Pradaya or Sushupti. So therefore, therefore what uh, from Pradaya is equal to Prapancha involves. 
ಪ್ರಲಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರಳಯ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ರೂಪ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಟು ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಲ್ಪ ಟು ಸವಿಕಲ್ಪ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಲ್ಪ ಟು ಸವಿಕಲ್ಪ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ವೈ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ದೇರ್ ಒನ್ ಎ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎ ಅದ್ವೈತಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಹಿ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಅವೇ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಸೊ ದೇ ಸೇ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ವಿ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಟು ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಹೌ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನ ದೆನ್ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ನೌ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹೀ ರೈಸಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸೊ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ವಯ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಯಥ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಜನ್ಮನ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ ಸರ್ವ ಅರ್ಥ ಅಜ್ಞಾತ ಸಂಚತಿ ತನ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾತೋ ಭೇತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಎನ್ವಿಲಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಳಯ ಸಿ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೀಮ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಆರ್ ಜಾಗೃತ ಅವಸ್ಥ ವಿ ವರ್ ಇನ್ ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಆಲ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ನೋನ್ ಈವನ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆಲ್ಸು ಆಲ್ಸು ಅದು ನಾಡ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಎರೋನಿಯಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಲ್ಪಕ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಇನ್ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಲೋನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಭಾವಂ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಓಕೆ ನೌ he says uh, he is asking a question now tell me this moola vidya is uh, uh, suppose we take moola vidya is also there we are telling bhava roopa he is telling abhava absent we are in trouble if we say moola vidya is also there along with the brahman shuddha brahman we say what is the problem dvaitam problem comes brahman is one entity bhava roopa brahman and uh, moola vidya also bhava roopa it is also eternal and it is also existing always with brahman so dvaita problem comes dvaita problem comes what we will do for that we know how to escape from that <laughs> okay it is not eternal like brahman pula vidya is mithya anirvachaniyam there is no dvaitam problem it is not eternal like brahman pula vidya is of vyavaharika satyam brahman happens to be paramarthika satyam there is therefore there is no dvaita problem when we accept to brahman is bhava roopam maha moola vidya also bhava roopam uh, two bhava roopam sar der dvaita na no problem sadeva somya idam agra asit ekameva dvitiyam there is no problem for upanishadi mantra abhavat na bhavotpatti moola vidya is not there from brahman nothing can come 
Mula Vidya is non-existent, the whole creation cannot come. Abhavat, Mula Vidya, Abhavat, Mula Jnana Abhavat. This Jagat Utpatti Hina Sambhavati, Tasmat, Mula Vidya Asti, that Mula Vidya is Bhava Rupam. Okay, so Brahman is unnegatable, Mula Vidya is negatable. This is so much technical, highly technical. So for Ajnanam also, Bhava Rupam only you have to say. Ajnanam means Mula Ajnanam. It cannot be uh, taken as uh, abhavam. Therefore, satchet, mula vidya is satchet. If it is also eternal like uh, Shuddha Brahman, satchet na badhyeta. It can never be negated. But we are negating. Apavada, we are doing. Therefore, it is negatable. Satchet na badhyet. If it is eternal, it is real. Bhava rupam, like Brahman, it cannot be negated. If it is asachet, if it is totally abhava rupam, as you say, O Sankhya philosopher, na pratiyeta. Na pratiyeta means this whole universe would have not come. That is our intention. Our view, not intention, our view. Asachet na pratiyeta, it would have not appeared if it is abhava rupam. The whole world would have not appeared. If it is real, it would have not been negated. So what final conclusion? It is negatable and it is uh, um, available also. Anirvachaniya rupena. Sadasad rupena. Yatkinchid bhava rupam. That is the idea. So, samsara caused by ajnanam alone even though it is not eternal. Naishkarma Siddhi class is required to remove that mula jnana. Mahavakya is required. So bhava abhava vilakshana rupam. Finally mula vidya is what? Bhava abhava vilakshana rupam. Mithya rupam. Sadasad rupam. Sadasad vilakshana rupam. Yatkinchit bhava rupam. So, Mula Vidya envelops Brahman. That is why Neshkarima Siddhi class is required. That Mula Vidya, how you handle then? He will ask a question. How you handle Mula Vidya? Don't worry, we will handle that Mula Vidya. He is going to ask in the 8th verse introduction. I will read. At bottom, same page. Sannagnato bhavetata ityuktam adhaste na shloke na kosau sannagnata iti apekshayam tasvarupa pratipadanaya aham. Now, the Pura Pakshi is asking a question. Suresh Rajara himself raise a question by the Pura Pakshi. What is that? Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya, they also accept. But there are slight differences in Prakriyas, that's all. So, Agnataha um, Yat isan agnataha bhavet, that shloka word he is using. The Purapakshi raising a question in the seventh verse, last three words, san agnataha tataha bhavet. So that uh, agnanam, unknownness, ignorance will be there with that Shuddha Brahman. That you have said in this above sloka, Adhastena shlokena sannagnata bhavetataha iti muktam. Okay, you are telling that ignorance, mula vidya is there along with Brahman, along with pure existence. 
and you are telling that Mula Jnanam also is Bhava Rupam, it is a positive entity. Then how you handle this Mithya Jnanam? How you handle this Mithya Jnanam? Nothing Mithya Jnanam is Karyam. Karana Nase Karya Nashaha. Mahavakyam Dwara Mithya Jnanam Karyam can be negated by Karana Jnanam. What is Karana Jnanam? Karana Mula Vidya Karanam. If you destroy the Mula Vidya, basic self ignorance, Karana Nashe Mithya Jnana Karya Nashaha. Mula Vidya Karanam for Agrahanam and Anyatha Agrahanam. That Mula Vidya, if you destroy by Mahavakya, then Mithya Jnana, erroneous perception, can be destroyed. Like rope knowledge. Rope knowledge is the, rope ignorance is the Karanam for rope snake. So rope knowledge comes, what you have to do to destroy rope snake? Rope snake you have to separately destroy. Rope snake, you need not separately destroy. What you have to do? You remove the rope ignorance. Rajju jnani na, rajju sarpa agnanam, rajju sarpa jnanam nivartyate. Rajju jnani na, karana jnani na, karya nashyati na. What is karyam? Rajju sarpa mitya jnanam. So erroneous perception will go away when you get right knowledge. Similarly, when you get Turiya Brahman, I am Atma, then Avarana is removed. Avarana Kamula Jnanam will be removed. You remove the fangs from the Mula Vidya. Okay, Avarana you remove. That Mula Vidya function only Vikshepa Shakti then it produces whatever it doesn't disturb us. So Mithyak Ennam can be handled by Mahavakya. Shlokenan, he said, Now, Kaha Asau San Agnataha Iti Apikshayam. Suppose you are interested in knowing. Suppose you are interested in knowing Kaha Asau San. Who is this <laughs> Suddha Brahman? Hmm? Kaha Asau San Agnataha. Mula Agnanam, Mula Vidya, which is covering the, concealing the Suddha Brahman. Iti Apekshayam. If you are interested in, interested in, instead of Brahma Gnanam, he say, Sun, sun means uh, Brahma, Sat Brahma, existence. Apekshaya, if you are interested in knowing, Tat Swarupa Pradipadanaya Aha. To reveal its Swarupam, what is that Mula Jnanam and what is that pure existence? To reveal that, Aha, Sureshwara Acharya is going to answer where in eighth verse he is going to answer how to know this uh, pure existence pure existence how to know i will read page number 97 verse number 8 premisayam ya atma ya abhati Swayam matra pramanayo Swamahim nache yes siddha so gnat artho vasiyatam. This is a very, very important verse. So we are not uh, able to recognize this uh, uh, in Sushupti. The pure existence, Mula Vidya, we are not able to recognize in Sushupti. 
in jagrat avastha hmm, i identify that mula vidya how it works and shuddha brahman you can you can understand recognize surish rajare says in jagrat avastha that existence is available as awareing consciousness in bahya prapancha you can recognize brahman as sadrupena in this body mind complex you can recognize brahman as chidrupena chidrupena you can know here and sadrupena in outside objects pennies bookies fannies houses hmm? here awareness as awareing consciousness whenever we know something we have divided consciousness that's what he says premisthayam premistha means uh, uh, it is a desiderative form it means jignasayam when you are curious to know something jignasa avasthayam that nirvikalpaka satta you can recognize in waking world as savikalpaka satta in savikalpaka avastha there is pramata pramanam prameyam karta karma karanam triputi triputi will be there prama premisthayam pram pra upasarga puraka madhatu premisthayam at the time of desire to know the consciousness which shines yaha avati consciousness that which shines swayam matr pramanayoho matr means pramata pramana instrument knower known knowing instrument pramanayoho sva mahimna cha yah yas siddhah so that um, you are curious to know something immediately that consciousness is divided as knower known instrument pramata pramanam prameyam that consciousness is divided as uh, knower consciousness known object and known in knowing instrument triputi rupena so one consciousness divided into pramata pramanam prameyam so consciousness is divided when we have specific knowledge in every specific knowledge pratibodha viditam matam you can recognize sri mahimni pratishtita bhuma vidya 7th chapter of chandogya upanishad so that is uh, available as awareing consciousness more details we will see in the next class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम